Total Dedication is the most time-consuming badge in the game. If you do the maximum amount of 9 quests per 24 hours, you will still roughly need 11 days minimum to complete the badge. But that's just theory speaking. In reality, 9 quests parry 24 hours is not guaranteed because there are some quests that are just straight up impossible to solo. You will need teammates or another device to help you out. But not everyone has friends and more than one device, so in today's video, as someone who has done a decent number of daily quests, I will provide you all the necessary information to solo most of the daily quests in Basically, there are two main types of daily quest. The first one is, complete map X on difficulty Y with Z mutation. X can be any map ranging from easy to expert, exclude secret maps. Y can be any difficulty ranging from easy to master. Z can be any mutation ranging from standard to hardcore. If Y equals master and apocalypse, Z will always be standard. I will provide you two strats to help you solo these kind of quests. I recommend learning to adapt by trying to change the loadout a bit based on the map you are playing because remember, no maps is the same. I didn't do a strat for blackout nor time trial because they are just standard but more annoying. And for half cash alongside with hardcore, I recommend you to skip them if you can't find teammates or don't have more than one device. The next one is, complete map X on Y difficulty using 5 random given towers. This one is tricky and also the hardest because it's impossible to have a strat that works for all of them because the possibilities are endless, well not exactly endless. It looks something like this, it may be lower due to how the randomizer work but it's still dynamic either way. Also most of the time the game will just give you impossible loadout to work with. But I know a way to get around this. You see, the game will not force you to use towers that you don't own, that's why new account only get quests with sergeant and sniper. So by not buying useless towers, you can manipulate the randomizer to give you a mostly useful loadout. Here is my daily quests tier list to give you the idea about what to buy and what not to. This tier list based on my experience, no bias, no satire just straight up truth. First, Reaper is too expensive so it's impractical to get her on a normal game. The chance you get an economic tower alongside with Reaper is very low, roughly 2% so it's the clearest bottom tier. Not good towers are towers that are only useful in little circumstances. Not bad towers are towers that are not particularly too good but rather usable and are always welcomed. Good towers are towers that are good. Very good towers are must-have because their role is simply irreplaceable. Why is Gunner so low you may ask? Because it's trash, that's why. 
Just don't buy the towers in the last two tiers and you will be alright with these kind of quests, that's all you need to know. I know it's rough and boring and sometimes make you want to quit the game, but everything will get better after this badge, it's just the way it is. Goodbye and have a great day.